In this video we're gonna take these photos using a diffuser called the poop shield. I got curious about this diffuser after seeing some people on Instagram using it and I went to their website to buy one. They have so many confusing options so <laughs> I was very unsure what to buy but in the end I bought their basic kit with three different diffusers for $30. You get one diffuser which is thin and uh, just white plastic and then you get one which is some kind of packing foam and uh, transparent plastic and then you get one which is like packing foam and the white plastic and today I chose to try the one with white plastic and packing foam because it seems like the most diffusion you could probably get uh, with a Pope shield. The package took like a month to arrive so it wasn't the fastest chipping I've experienced and when I got the kit my first problem was that the ring that's supposed to hold the diffuser when you screw it on at least on my camera uh, the holes do not line up in the right way so the diffuser would basically be upside down and uh, I complained about this on Instagram and Poop Shield suggested that maybe I use some hairband to change the threading that didn't really work for me I also tried attaching another filter so that by luck <laughs> it will line up in the correct way and that kind of worked but I don't want to have an extra filter when I'm trying this because I want to see how the pictures actually look with no filters. In the end I just went for my drill and uh, drilled a couple of holes in it so that I could mount it in the right way. This is clearly not a good design. Pope Shield said that with the magnetic diffusers they have this is not a problem and they said that they will work on a new design for the basic diffuser that will also not have this problem but this was a big disappointment this is such a stupid design anyway I drilled my holes and I got the diffuser to attach in the right way and off I went to take some macro photos with it what I like about this diffuser is that it is very minimalistic, there is no like hood over it even if you can order that if you want one. I like lightweight diffusers that do not get in the way and this seems like it's right on the money. The first thing I noticed when using this diffuser is that it is pretty thick, at least the one that I'm using now with the, both the white plastic and the translucent foam. I have to use like one fourth in strength on my uh, flash uh, to get it bright enough. Uh, but I'm sure that if I use one of the other variants maybe I will not need as much light. And of course if I would have used a roof on this diffuser that reflects some light down I would also maybe gotten away with a weaker flash strength. But I mean one fourth is not a problem at all with my GP photo flash batteries and my Mikey MK320 I can uh, take very fast burst with this uh, no problem at all. A problem I stumble upon with this diffuser is that when shooting at two times magnification the working distance of my Laowa 60mm lens is so short that the diffuser really gets in the way. For example here when I'm trying to photograph these ants I have to really push it pretty hard against the tree uh, to bend the diffuser a bit so that I can focus close enough. Uh, so that's a little bit of a problem uh, when shooting at two times magnification, which I do most of the time because the insects here in Sweden are so damn small. <laughs> this is a really big fly. And at first I was so impressed that he didn't care that I stood there for like a minute with the lens pressed almost against him. Uh, then I realized that he had a damaged wing and that is probably why it didn't leave and then I felt a little bit bad. Uh, but I got a pretty nice focus stack at least. And no, I did not hurt him in any way. A very nice thing with this Pope Shield as compared to my old Dörr diffuser is that the Pope Shield does not get in the way when I'm adjusting the aperture or the focus. That is such a nice feeling, I can adjust it freely without the diffuser getting in the way at all. I love that. Now we are in the beginning of June and that means that the best 2-3 to three weeks of macro photography of the year is ahead of me. Now is the time of the year when I see the most insects, the most different kinds of species and a lot of species I only see during these 2-3 to three weeks before midsummer. 
And then it all starts dying and all the insects slowly but surely disappear before the long winter. And <laughs> during these two weeks it almost makes me want to cry, both from happiness that there is so much to photograph right now, but also from sadness that I know that this only lasts for two weeks. And I also cry a little bit from stress that I need to capture as much as possible during these two weeks. Because then, after that, everything will slowly fade away for a long, long winter. The Pope Shield has some nice height to it. It is definitely tall enough to cater for bigger flashes. My Mikey MK320 does not completely cover the whole area. And so it's good that they have an appropriately sized diffuser. And I really have to say that I love the look that this diffuser gives the photos. The diffusion is very good. And thanks to the Pope Shield, I think I actually got my best ladybug photo ever in my life today. Look at this photo. I'm so happy with it. I love how soft and nice the diffusion is. I love that I finally am able to nail a handheld focus stack with no issues. <laughs> Uh, this was maybe seven or eight photos and I love how natural the photo looks. I'm really happy with this shot and I don't think I would have gotten this look without a diffuser like the Pope Shield. And when I look at these ladybug shots I kind of think to myself why the hell did I use such a shitty diffuser for like my first five years of macro photography? <laughs> why didn't I get a proper diffuser right away? Well, well. Um, at least I got one now. This summer I'm gonna test more diffusers. I have the AK diffuser uh, ready for testing. I will do a video on that soon. I will make a separate video about my Dur diffuser as well because I haven't really dedicated a video uh, to it. And I talked to the guy behind Cygnus Tech diffuser recently and he said that he was uh, moving houses but after that he would send a diffuser to me so I will test the Cygnus Tech as well. And if you have suggestions on other diffusers I should review, please let me know. In conclusion, I think you get a lot of diffuser for your money if you buy the Pope Shield. The mounting experience for me was a pain in the ass so I would recommend you to get the magnetic version of this diffuser uh, to save you some frustration. Otherwise I think it's a solid diffuser, it gives a nice look to your photos. Give me a like on this video if you liked it, it helps this channel, thank you so much and please do subscribe if you want weekly macro photography videos. See you soon again, bye bye!